what's up y'all it's your girl ebony and i'm back with another video another message another level of understanding another word of encouragement from the most high god this is what we're going to talk about today is something that god is not playing on he's like he don't care how you gotta do it how you decide to do it get it get rid of it okay past regret decisions um the determination of keeping it uh harvesting it okay there is a poem that i did and like it was like my first video i created on youtube and it was talking about your harvest and i was saying my harvest is my dream my harvest is my ability to think if it's as if whatever i create is as if god called it to be right i was telling people to stay away from luke individual people lukewarm individual people and be careful of the company you keep in your harvest so the seeds that is there you may be able to grow prosperously right so god is always working behind the scenes you guys even when you're think like when you think he's not or you don't see him in the midst of certain things or you're living your life and things are going on although you're getting your daily encouragement although you're reading your bible and things go on <laughs> the holy spirit is so funny <laughs> he said womp 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 listen he basically said get to the point and i love it i love that he's been so jokingly with me but long story short okay you can go on and you don't see the holy spirit or you don't see god working in the midst of something and he'll bring it back to you and hit you like a domino effect and that thing that you was thinking about uh him not touching or him not bringing up or giving you clarity right away on wasn't important and then boom all of a sudden it just hit your front door like it's very important actually i was warming you up i was bringing you close to the thing that i needed you to understand okay god said there is residue in your garden there is residue in your harvest your harvest is your mind your temple your body right god is cleansing us out during this season of our life of prosperity of where we're climbing a certain le level and reaching a certain level of success where certain things that happen in our territories of our pain is lodged in between the dirt and we wrote some instructions together so you guys can be encouraged on how to go about these things okay so it's called restoration like i said bear with me y'all it's called restoration forgiving these things from your past is necessary for you to go on pause he probably been bringing things up to you in your mind about certain things and you're not in a space where you used to be when you were able to dwell on this pain or this hurt or these moments from your past life or situations that happened to you and you're looking at them as like thank you god that i'm not there no more thank you god that i don't have to worry about that think about that dwell on that i want to live on that thank you we moved so far past that right but god is bringing it back to your memory your memory <laughs> your memory because those things are important right you thinking that god just kept your secret and god washed it away with you and you know to each his own you move forward you ain't even trying to think on it or dwell on it god is bringing it back to your memory because he needs to address it he needs to uh, he needs you to acknowledge it as well so I'm going to reread it. Restoration. This is a black and white, right? Forgiving these things from your past is necessary for you to go on. There are moments past memory tries to visit from how we receive freedom. When we become undone, weary, or tired. To do away with unforgiveness, we have to go back and revisit slash or end acknowledge those moments we hold some people hostage in our pain skipping over decisions to not provide them the privilege to relive the moments of deep regret restoration trans holy spirit says transfiguring spirits this is the definition of restoration restoration is returning something to a former owner place or condition many of the past moments when we were deceived by the enemy's lies granted it came with experience and also a price 
that hindered our lives by hurt and pain and scars of a spider web of frustration and disguise of moments trapped from our past lives in order for you to be multiplied you must give up that pain that you hold on to back when you die okay I'm going to pause and tell y'all this story. So there was a significant portion of your life, some of you, for a portion of, or group that I'm talking to, apply this metaphorically how it pertains to you and your growth or where you started with God and where you are today. Many of us were in the garden of Eden with God, where God perfectly loved us. There was nothing we needed, nothing that we had to result in within our own nakedness. And we were uncovered unknowingly, just living life peacefully in the, in the love of Christ and knowing there is a God and just trying to do our very best as being a good person. But then the enemy came in and destroyed your mindset of how you seen yourself and also how you seen the, the privilege of God or what God told you and instructed you during that time. In those moments when he deceived you and you bit the fruit of the tree that God told you from good and evil or uh, the tree of knowledge where he told you you should not be getting your fruit, your food from, your fruit from, or whatever. And he challenged God's authority and your mind over your circumstance and caused you to sin and dropped you from your position and where you were in God. And in those moments, those hurt things that twisted up your logic and how you seen or perceived God really pained you. And when God woke you up and he brought you back from the dark of that moment, momentary I can't even say a momentarily situation he saved you and restored you but you still have residues of scars of when that situation happened on how you perceived God those ugly darkest moments that you ain't able you weren't able to actually tell anybody about but through scripture you relive the pain of understanding where you came from right those things are in the dark of a of a, a cemetery and this is so funny to me because God had me ride through a cemetery today on the way to work and as I'm on my way in I'm like, you know, I just started feeling the need to pray. I just started feeling the need that there was dark, dark spirits just rising amongst the road where I was driving. And I started to rebuke and pray these things off and cast them off from the sight of God of where I am today with God. But all of this, all of this God was showing me was in alignment with his plans, even when I had no idea that he was going to work these things out for my good. I had a dream, you guys, about um an animalistic situation okay let me i'm gonna get to that but it's all confirming what's going on right now but in the scenario when the when a deception came in the enemy literally destroyed your depiction of how you seen god and where your status was in god because of the sin that was created in your life right no matter what it is only you know what was done in the dark and it came to the light and when god seen it you was like god but oh my god this not who who I am or who I was and what happened you was so mad you feel me you ain't even want to bring it up you ain't want to think about it you ain't want to talk about it you ain't want to look at it so look <sighs> let me keep going I know child of God listen I know listen thank God I don't look like what I've been through okay okay so let me reread this part in order for you to be multiplied, you must give back that pain that you hold on to back when you die. When God has given you salvation to sacrifice his son's life so that you may be restored in a new life, obtaining emptiness, obtaining emptiness towards suffering is the enemy's life. Surrender over the left behind from the most pain you once felt. You are divine. You must divide and leave the life you were told to leave behind. Even those times when you were blind, no more burying it underneath the dirt or feeding the animals from the jungle, contaminated food from the dead. These moments are no longer vital in the season for your new beginning and new life give back those territories of what is dead back to the owner so that i can explain to you the agenda for my plan i have created for you to win i don't care how you do it even if you address it by a letter 
to your pain and forgiveness get rid of it so now he wants me to explain my dream he ain't playing either y'all get with it or get lost listen you don't want to get lost for something that is supposed to be given to you. God is saying this, you guys. He's paying you back for everything that the enemy stole and took from you. He's telling me right now in this moment that there are so many things that you want to just get over and go forward and not even bring them up, not even rehash them or remember them. But God says those dead moments in your life still hold territory in your harvest and they don't belong to you. They belong to Satan. Return those issues, those moments back to the sender so God can return what's old to you back to you. You can't harvest those things in your new beginning because he has so many promises of inheritance because you have succeeded death, because you have rose again with Christ, because you have relived the new story and understood and made it to the end of your cycle of testing with him. He wants to bless you tremendously for all the things that you endured for your entire life and holding on to the dead is basically telling God that God I love your word God I believe you God I know that you sacrificed your son for me to die on the cross so that we shall have salvation even those who are not deserving of it including you although you have done all of this for me these people that has caused me sin with Satan does not deserve your forgiveness although you have given me closure and things like this and provided me with the understanding and the clarity that we can move forward in our relationship I, I still don't want to address what happened in my past that caused me to sin up against you because I have a little bit of anger still towards that circumstance or animosity God said release it child of God because it's not deserving of your new he says you got to let these people get the chance to have those own choices to relive. Some of these people have deep regret about what they did to you. God says touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. So he takes your side on a situation. But right is right and wrong is wrong. If his son died on the cross so that many can be free from sin. How is it that you are able to hold hostage to the dead of moments that happened to you? And just because God arrived for you and he loyal for you, he will fight for you. So those people that hate you, he hate them too. But he want his word to be true and your life of understanding, full knowledge and wisdom. You understand what I'm saying, child of God? So you got to let go of these stripes and these emotions. Emotions is not the way to success. You got to rise above that pain because if Jesus was living out through his emotions, baby, we would have never made it to this day of freedom. You understand the devil wants to ride in on your coattail. You got to let that go because God has so much in store for you. He's paying back what the enemy stole seven times four. He said, stop playing with him. Child of God, this your victory. You ain't even got, he don't care how you do it. If you feel like you got to make that phone call, talk to them about it. In my dream, there was a cheater there was a um a cat a small cat and a small dog and in my dream i kept in in the lady of my past who betrayed me so bad y'all so bad that i looked over the moments with her that i didn't want to think about it i didn't even want to have to revisit it it was kind of one of those things where you wash your hands but what god showed me from his perspective it looked like i was burying the dead but i ain't never get uh uh um it's like you kill somebody right you kill somebody off but yet you ain't never been convicted of the crime you ain't never been um <laughs> had to go to court about it nobody ever found out about it it's some stuff you did in the dark and ain't nobody ever found out a secret that was safe with him you understand but God said he sees all things you understand and so he brought this dream back of this woman in a room and she the only question I kept asking her she asked me a question she said can I, I I can help you I can help you if you want me to what God was saying in that moment is that your pain can work for you if you allow it to you don't have to allow those things to take root over you you understand me child of God but at the end of the day you got to release that pain and then he I'm gonna put the um scripture up there when God was saying in the end times how uh the, the baby would be with a snake and, the, and all different animals would be mixed up with one another land from this species with this species and 
and I kept thinking that the cheetah was going to eat the dog or eat the cat. And no, they weren't. They were all in one accord. They were in harmony at peace. God was trying to show me, use your pain. Don't let it use you. Don't let it ride against you. You have authority over that thing. You have to release it in forgiveness. This day that has been made in position for you is nothing but abundance and greatness. Let go of what was owed to the enemy. And now I'm going to return to you what belongs to you, my child. Give it to me. Rest assured that the justice has been made on all sides according to you. I love you, child of God. Know that God is always fighting for you. Do the right thing, okay? Because heaven is backing you up to receive all the dominion, authority, and your gift and everything from inheritance, financially, prosperity, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally to rise above everything that defeated you and that old past life. Your new is waiting for you. Be blessed. I love you. Bye.